Before we begin mass, students, I want to give you a couple uh, pieces of information. First of all, at this point, you can remove your mask since you are seated. However, if you need to go to the restroom or at communion, when you leave your pew, you will need to put your mask back on, okay? Um, at communion, I will usher you, so please wait until I indicate that you can go to communion. If you want to receive communion on the tongue, you need to be the last person in line. So um, otherwise, you will just fall in line. And those of you that are not of the Catholic faith, you may join us in communion. You will just receive a blessing, and you will just cross your arms to indicate that you have not, um, you're not of the Catholic faith and that you will receive a blessing instead. So cross your arms, and that will signal to the priest. So we are ready for our introduction whenever. Good morning. Today we celebrate the beginning of the school year. Together this year we will grow in many ways and learn many things. Most important, we will learn more about Jesus Christ and his teachings. At this Eucharist in which Jesus is present with us, let us ask him to open our minds and hearts to all that is true, good, and beautiful. Let us ask him to help us know him. Our opening song will be number 768, Gather Your People, number 768. the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, it is good to be together to celebrate the Eucharist here this morning. Really, it's uh, our first, uh, uh, all, all our Savior school mass as we started with the route mass. And it looks different, doesn't it? Our spacing that's going on here uh, looks different here without the rest of the student body here. It uh, looks different because I'm different. So I'm the new pastor here at Our Saviors, Father Joel Ring, Father Adam Zawatsky is here to uh, be the parochial vicar. And so I'll get to, to meet you and hopefully start to learn some names as the, as the school year progresses. We gather to uh, hear God's word and to be nourished at his altar. Let us acknowledge our sins and seek God's mercy. Lord Jesus, your word instructs us in the ways of wisdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your sacrament at the altar renews us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your light guides your servants into glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
O God, who hath taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. My dear friends, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I beg you not to have anything to do with any of our people who loaf around and refuse to obey instructions we gave you. You surely know that, that you, should, shall, you should follow our example. We didn't waste our time loafing, and we didn't, didn't accept food from anyone without paying for it. We didn't want to be a burden to any of you. So night and day, we worked as hard as we could. We had the right not to work, but we wanted to set an example for you. We also gave you the rule, if you don't work, you don't eat. Now, now that some of you just loaf around and won't do any work, except the work of a busybody. So we ask, for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask and beg these people to settle down and start, start working for a living. I pray that the Lord Jesus, who gives peace, will keep blessing you with peace, no matter where you are. May the Lord be with you all, all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, let us come before the Lord and praise him. Let us come before the Lord and praise him. Sing joyful songs to the Lord. Praise the mighty rock where we are safe. Come to worship him with thankful hearts and, sing, and songs of praise. Let us come before the Lord and praise him. The Lord is the greatest God, king over all other gods. He holds the deepest part of the earth in his hands, and let the mountain peaks belong to him. The ocean is the Lord's because he made it, and with his own hands he formed the dry land. Lord and praise. Bow down and worship the Lord our Creator. The Lord is our God, and we are his people, the sheep he takes care of in his own pasture. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when someone finds treasure hidden in a field and buries it again. A person like that is happy and goes and sells everything in order to buy the field. The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when a shop owner is looking for fine pearls. After finding a very valuable one, the owner goes and sells everything in order to buy that pearl. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I understand that some of you girls are playing softball. So who's, who's softball players? You want back there a few? Okay. So how's the season going? Okay. Is it a thumbs up at this point? Okay. And boys are playing baseball? Is that right? See a few hands? How's it going? Okay. What, what's your record? What's that? 3-0? and oh? All right. You guys are undefeated. Cool. 
And what's the other sports that going on? Is it cross country? Is that it? Who's, who's in cross country? Okay. All right, so a runner. All right, excellent. Well, tell me, what does it mean to be all in? I kind of hear that phrase. You're probably familiar with it. What's it mean to be, I'm all in? What's that mean? What do you think? Mm-hmm. All or nothing. Man, so when it comes to sports, if you're going to excel, I bet you need to be all in. I don't know if the coaches ever tell you that. He says, all right, you guys, sometimes it's get your head in the game. That's one step. But another one, you've got to be all in. Well, you know, that's what I hear in today's gospel. That Jesus is telling his disciples, says this, this guy went out to his field and he, he found such a great treasure, he, he quick hidden, he hid it because he didn't want anybody else to find it. And he sold everything he had so he could go and buy that field. So he went all in. He held nothing back. And he said this other, this other person, they were looking for fine pearls. They found one, and, and he went back and sold everything he had so he could have this most precious and most valuable pearl. So he was all in. Didn't want to hold anything back. Well, Jesus is giving us that example of how we are to live as his disciples. Jesus also then gives us that example. Because whenever we look at the cross, we see the cross over here on the side of the altar. That's all in. Jesus went all in for us. He held nothing back. He says, I will lay down my life for you. So much do I love you. Wow. Well, what was the prize that he won? Well, he's been raised up to live with the Father forever. And he won the prize for us to have eternal life. Hmm. Great prize. I want to have eternal life. So I want to be all in as a follower of Jesus. That's going to be a lifelong commitment to do that. Well, you've already made some great steps already uh, to be these followers of Jesus. Being here at our Savior Catholic School, here at Mass, uh, coming to Mass when you're able to do that. That shows that sign of, of that commitment of being all in. And then our lives reflect that in the way that we treat one another with kindness and respect. And this year as eighth graders, so you're leaders in the school. So you're helping out the little ones, you're an example to them, and leadership in various ways. So that shows that being that faithful and, and committed uh, disciple of the Lord in doing that. So tell me, uh, when we talk about this being all in, as in sports, so what's the, what's the, uh, what's the end game, we could say? What's, that, what's the goal that you're aiming for at the end of the end of your season. What's the goal? What would it be in cross country? Get a better time, but in the end, maybe to make, is there going to be like state championship finals? Okay. I'm trying, figuring all that out about how the seasons are going to end for uh, IESA and IHSA and all that. What, what about for, uh, for girls softball? What's, what's the goal at the end of the season? Who's, who's playing softball? Which of the girls? What's the goal at the end of the season? Back here. Huh? Uh-huh. What's that? Be it in the state championship, state tournament? Okay, all right. So I suppose the same for the boys, right? So in baseball, it says, boy, it would be great if you uh, if go to the postseason to advance like that. The uh, So that that's, that's the end game for there. The end game for... The academic year, graduation, and we hope it's going to happen in May this year, not, not so much in the summer like it happened for, for last year's class. We'll see how, how this year unfolds. We're praying it goes well. But the, the end game for all of us, of course, is eternal life. And so we want to be all in to be followers of Jesus. And we need help, don't we, to do that. So the Eucharist today helps us in our walk with Jesus as being the disciple. And what we heard in the first reading... There's no loafing. You can't loaf and be a disciple of Jesus. You can't loaf and be a good student. You can't loaf and be a good, a good uh, athlete. You know, you've got you to work hard to do that. And to do that, we need the nourishment of the Eucharist. You need good nutrition to be growing and healthy and be good uh, student athletes. And you need teammates to support you. 
to help you to be the best you can be in your team. And we need the Christian community uh, to help us to be good disciples in our school community as well. So I think that's, we have everything we need. We have the Eucharist. We have God's love and strength going forward so that like following Jesus as good disciples, we can be all in for him. Trusting that God hears the prayers of his people, we now lift up our needs and petitions. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. that the church may grow in the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our leaders may govern us with true wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the children of our Savior be good students and not waste their talents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That children who do not have the opportunity to learn in fine schools may be helped. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember Evelyn Ring, to whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Direct our steps according to your holy way. Grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts and crying out as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Thomas John, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. You may offer each other a sign of peace while you're socially distant. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy.
Let us pray. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts, O Lord, and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of his dew through Christ our Lord. Well, I want to thank you students who uh, particularly did the introduction for the Mass and who did the, uh, the reading, the responsorial psalm, the intercessions, our music uh, leadership over here for our singing. Uh, and it's kind of different, isn't it? So about, okay, when do we stand? When do we sit? Because you're up front here. We don't have others to kind of help us kind of get that rhythm of the Mass. But you, but you did good. So I'm, I'm pleased we've had, had good prayer uh, this morning. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Michael, we are here. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray. And do have the goodness of By the power of God, and us with help, Satan, and all the evil. Seeking to the souls.